Hey, Railbirds, Kevin and Sherry here. We have a platinum team up, up uh, for you next. Pull the fire alarm versus Rather Be Golfing. Yep. And we have uh, so it should be Pat wrecking here. Nope. This will be Steve wrecking over here because Wes is coming over. Alright, All right. so so we have uh, Brian Wasniska. Brian Wasniska and Pat. I don't know. I didn't get the last names. I so. just happen to know Brian's last name. So BK on the other yep. table. BK and Pat on the other table. And over here we have Wes breaking against Steve. All right, here we go. We are playing mostly CSI rules nine ball. The main deviation is going to be it's rack for your opponent instead of rack your own. It is alternate break. The nine on the break counts as a win in all six pockets out there. Yeah. Some places say it doesn't count in the bottom two, but no, it counts everywhere. Jump cues are allowed. Three foul rule is in effect. Thank you guys for watching. We are your hosts, Kevin and Sherry Ross with Railbirds Productions. Hello. We're coming at you live from the Chinook Winds Casino Resort here in beautiful Lincoln City, Oregon, and it is a beautiful day out there today. Almost too beautiful to be in here playing pool. Almost. If you've never been to Lincoln City, you got to come out. Yeah. Right on the Oregon coast. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, it is. I love the rock formations out in the water here on the uh, Pacific coast. They're just beautiful. Or the Rockies, the Cascades, all that stuff run right out yeah. to the ocean. Yeah, sleep at night with your window open, listening to the ocean. He made the nine. I think he might have been riding it, too. Oh, that counts. Even yep. though even though he touched the four with his cue stick, that is not a foul. That shot stands. Yep. That's a nice shot. And that was uh, Rather Be Golfing? That was Rather Be Golfing. All right, here that we go. That was Steve of Rather, Rather Be Golfing. And that'll bring up uh, Eddie Parenti, racking uh, for Chris. It's probably Whitey. But I can look it up and get all of their full names. I can just Google or just search one of them in the. Or all right, who is this that's breaking now? Uh, this is Chris. Couple balls down, another one trying. A three ball was heading there. And our LittmanLights.com overhead cam. Thanks, Mike Littman. Yeah, I sense a push out coming on. Uh, yep. Man, that template rack, it's clear. You can't even see it hardly. It just blends right into the table. Yeah, it does. And if you lay it on the rail, be sure it's not out on the, uh, over the edge near the playing surface, because if it is and it gets hit by a ball, that would be a foul. I don't like setting it on the table. All right, he has to, he has called push. Just gonna tie things up, and did he even leave enough to even see the two? Yeah, ride the nine. Actually, is that five six? Is that five six lined up dead? It's pretty close. Yeah, that is pretty close. And it's off the five is off the six a little bit, so if you know. Even if it's nice not shot. dead, it can be uh, it can be thrown in or cut in. And thanks, Ben. Glad you glad, glad you appreciate the coverage. And if you appreciate, if you like what we do, you can show your appreciation by hitting that subscribe button, ring that bell, and share. Share with your friends. Don't be stingy with your live streams. 
Oh, it looks like Eddie can pull back that. It, the five might go in this other corner. Oh, he's sliding around it. Uh, he was trying oh, to come around for position. That, and <laughs> he, he's got on it. Yeah, looking at a bank shot now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to cover up your mute button. I could just cough in everybody's ear. All right. Yeah, you could uh, kind of just bank this five under the six, eight, let the cue ball go down table behind the nine. Or you could kinda, uh, try and like bank that. the five and draw into the six. Yeah. I mean, it depends if he wants to try to go offensive, but if, but if you wanted to play safe, that would be one way to do it. Or how about you just billiard the six in, and he's hooked. And he's hooked. Wow. This is a... Uh, no love. No, I tell you, if he can, if he continues here and gets out, it's going to be one hellacious out. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> All right, he's lining up the rail first. Uh, that's uh, the measurement you just saw him took, and that's the one way you are allowed to measure. Yeah, and you're allowed to lay your cue stick on the table to, like, to, to check angles and things like yeah, that. Yeah, but you can't go and put your hand between balls. You yeah. can't run a ball between them, things yeah. like that. You can't measure, even measure the distance with your, you know, over... Yeah, you just can't use anything to measure a gap to see if a ball will fit. And you can't use another ball. You can't use your finger. can't use a cue stick. can't use a uh, piece of paper. Yeah, nothing. Nothing to measure a gap. That ball's going. If it oh, can... <laughs> got to hit the ball. Slow table. <laughs> Slow, right. fast table. Yes, the fastest table in the house. <laughs> Probably. I haven't played on all of them. No. I haven't played on any all of right. them. And virtually. I, I virtually played on him. That cue ball ended up just about frozen, but it is just inside the jaws, so uh, Chris would be able to just uh, yeah, that five just, goes. just feather this five in. and Yeah, that uh, five's that, inside the jaws. And yeah. It goes. All right. Whoa, slow, slow. Slow. Whoa. Oh, no. Stop just in the nick of time. Nice shot. Oh, oh, I thought it I was in. It. So did I. He was playing safe. Now look at that shot he had on the eight, too. <laughs> yeah, that would have that worked. Yeah, he can see the seven, but yeah, uh, not much you can do with it except maybe bank it to the other corner or just bank it up to the end rail for safe. The old Louis Vieira safety? Yeah. Keep waiting for John Throckmorton to be listening when we say that. He was listening last night. I know. I saw that. All right. I said hi to him when I was on my break. Oh, you did? Yeah. I was chatting in the room. In the um, I was in the chat when I was on break yesterday. Does... does does Q even know who Luis Vieira is? He probably he does. He probably does. He's one of the. He was one of the top pool players in Florida. Or, you know, gamblers in Florida for years. So, from the Orlando area. Best one of the best opposite-handed one-handed players. <laughs> what do you do? Opposite-handed one-handed. He did. He did opposite-handed one-handed because it was uh, his uh, right hand. Uh, it was his right hand that he broke. Oh, I, I thought, thought it was just—I thought it was just regular, but yeah, but maybe, maybe but it was. It was one, you know, jacked up one hand, and you know, not allowed to touch the table. Because uh, he broke his hand and couldn't play with both of them, so he learned how to play one-handed. I would run racks doing it. Yeah, that was uh, that was the spot he would give you. I'll shoot one-handed, and still kick your ass. <gasps> you said the A word. It's appropriate in this case, because <laughs> that's how good he played one-handed. And it's, uh, you know, uh, what they call jacked up one-handed, where the q is not allowed to touch the table or Look, a bridge or anything. Wow. That was a really nice uh, shot by Eddie yeah, there. Yeah, that was a bad roll. Yeah. Unlucky. All right. Pull the fire alarm in pretty good shape here with ball in hand. The other table, he's looking at kind of a tough seven ball. Yeah, that would be BK. He's just going to pop the seven ball up in the corner and slide off underneath the nine. <clears throat> nice 
Nice, nice. Sh nice shot on that seven. Yep. Straight in on the nine. <clears throat> All right. One, one. I guess I should finish filling out this uh, score sheet. That's going to bring up uh, Steve and Brian with Brian racking for. Oh. Okay, we're going to have Steve and Eddie back up against Brian and Wes. Steven's playing Brian, Wes is playing Eddie. Both streams the same? Do I have two live streams going? I don't even know it. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> well, that would be interesting if I did. Let me double check that. No, I only see one that's live now. Yeah, just uh, day six because it's teams <laughs> and they're playing on two tables. Yep, playing teams today, tomorrow, and Sunday. The rest of the time here, it's all teams all the time. Mm. And yep, as Sherry said, teams play on two tables to keep things moving along. <clears throat> yeah, and you'll see them uh, wait for a minute because they, they've got one template racked and everybody wants to use it, so... They are uh, sharing it, so they got if they're both breaking at the same time, they got to wait for the other guy to break. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right, nice break. Going for the softer break. Wing ball straight in. And, well, you can see the one. Uh, I play it off of the six up in the other corner by the nine and hold the cue ball right there for the two. No, don't do that. Just play safe. <laughs> then off of the one, maybe cue ball back in between the two five. Or just off of it and let it roll in behind, just barely touch it, let the cue ball roll in behind the six. He's trying to put him on the two. That's a, uh, nice, that's a nice shot. That's a really nice save. Nicely done yeah, there. Yeah, nice speed. Oh, so that's on the Western BCA, uh, on the westernbca.org website. We have, they have two links that both go here. Is that what it is? Let me double check that. Yeah, if there is, I'll uh, <clears throat> have him get a hold of Rob and have her fix that. Yes, there oh, wait. Is. oh, I see. Um, They're the same. Interesting. Well, one of them is, says live now, and the other one looks like just a link. Or they both say live now, but yeah, that's weird. I'll, uh, I think that's just a YouTube thing, just for some reason showing the same thing twice, but I'm not positive on that. I'll look into that. Thanks for pointing that out. He's looking at, <clears throat> I guess, just drawing straight back here. Uh-oh. 
Uh, six got out of the way. Yeah, uh, I only have one live stream going. I'm so not sure why YouTube is showing it twice on our YouTube channel page. That is kind of unusual. A little confusing. Yeah, so well, at least they both take that. you to the same place. Yeah. So uh, I have no answer. <laughs> uh, rub the six on the way back down. I just got to back cut this five here. Should be okay. You think, what do you think about going long here instead of trying to shorten it up? Uh, let's have a look real quick here. Uh, I think he can kind of slow roll this and come into the center of the table, and that's what he's looking at yeah. right now. Maybe a little bit of inside spin to shorten it up a little. But yeah, I like I like coming. I, yeah, s staying on the good side of the six, not trying yeah. to not trying to go to the short side. Yeah. Eddie Prenti with a shot on the nine over here. Got a feeling these teams are pretty evenly matched, and it's going to be some back and forth, <clears throat> unless one of them starts to catch a gear, you know. So we're at two to one in favor of rather be golfing. There's a golf course right down the road, guys. A couple uh, of them. Well, it should be two two now, right? With Eddie Eddie making that nine, should be two two, right? No. Did I miss a game somewhere? I think so, because when they were making, an, like when BK made that oh. seven and then the nine, uh, I, I scored a game, and then right after that, they made a nine on this table, and I scored that game. Maybe, maybe you missed one that's of those. That must be the one I missed. And so this was a win here, making that two, and this one, and Eddie wins here. Yeah, I know Pull the Fire Alarm has at yeah. least two games, so you, you missed one of okay. those. All right. And this is a loss. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I can go double check the score just to make sure. But I'm yeah. pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to go double check. Yeah, it is because we've got Eddie and uh, or Brian and Steven playing right here. And we have Pat and Chris playing over on the other table. So that is correct. All right. Then I won't go check. Oh, nice shot there. And with a good shot on the nine. Yep. Nice. You missed it. Oh, no. I going to go lay up in front of that corner for Brian. Oh, no. <clears throat> All right. Three, two. So we are in agreement. All right. Brian and Eddie will be Brian's break. Yeah, the the two tables that they are playing on, it's they're they're across from each other. So like on on camera now we got this whole row of tables. They're not they're not two tables next to each other. They're across the aisle from each other. Yeah, because the, there's there's an odd number of tables in each row, <clears throat> so it's every two tables. But but uh, yeah. So when you get to the end of the row, it's the two at the end. Yeah, the uh, the other table is over here, <laughs> that way is the other table that uh, that they're playing on for this match. Thank you.
All right, making a nice run out here. <laughs> nice, just don't tie up that seven. And he looks like he's pretty good. Probably just roll forward just a couple inches for the seven in the side. Oh, I left my mic on. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, guys. I threw it down, too. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. left mine on, too. So, all yeah. right. So, looking at a nice, okay. I thought he might roll forward, but it held it up. He's straight in on his eight, so that works out pretty nicely. Shorts are going like hotcakes. If you want one, you better come get it. Ooh. Rocked it to sleep. I really didn't think that was going to go. At I that, don't think Eddie did either. <laughs> at that speed and to hit the rail on the way in at that angle, I'm actually, I'm surprised it went, but it did. He's got a nice shot on the nine. He's on the rail, but I think he'll be able to handle it. Well, during teams, we only have one live stream. We don't have two streams. Yeah, because they play on two tables. Yeah. During s during singles, we have, you know, one stream for each table. But now we're doing two tables for teams, so it's just one stream. And if and if we did another stream on it, you know, we would only catch in half of a match, <clears throat> too. So this way we get to catch the whole match. Yeah. I think they want uh, two tables per stream. So, yeah, streaming four tables at once. Uh, maybe next year. Maybe. Maybe. But not this year. That is correct, Darren. Yeah, that little mini window, that, that, that camera was used for the second stream, so now it's been uh, repurposed for this stream. Okay, what happened? I didn't mark um, scores. Pull the fire alarm over there, won a game, so we are 4-3 in favor of pull the fire alarm. Okay, so Chris beat Pat. And what about this? Yeah, and Eddie, Eddie, just Eddie won, won over him. Eddie won over here, and over on the other table, it was uh, pull the fire alarm. I didn't see who was up. It was Chris. Okay. So we're at four three. That's affirmative. At least that's what I have. Muhammad, thank you and welcome. Okay, so we've got Wes and Pat um, on the other table. And here we've got Chris breaking with Steve. All right, nice break. All deposited. Is he going to end up with a shot on the ice? Oh, look at this one nine. On wow. Nine. Wow. Able to see it right between the sponsor logos. So. Oh, well, Mohammed, I'm glad we could be your first live stream. Thanks for choosing us. Be sure to share with your friends. Yes. And subscribe. And don't subscribe, forget, Don't please. forget to subscribe. Yep. Yeah. We like you hitting the like button too, but the subscription is what does uh, what is what really helps us. Subscribe and share. All right. Pull the fire alarm. Five to three. That was Chris over here. All right, we're going to be bringing up Pat and Brian with Brian's rack. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, rack. Now they can remove the rack. <laughs> Yeah, they're sharing one one rack between two tables here, so that slows them down a little. But no, these these matches are these matches are going pretty fast. They're no. allowing they're allowing two hours. Well, if it goes hill hill, it could take two hours. But they're shooting. But you know, they're not getting into safety battles. There's a lot of running out, so they're moving along pretty quickly. And this here would be BK, otherwise known as Brian Wasniska. If you uh heard of uh, Black Diamond in Spokane. He is responsible for running their tournaments. They run, they put on some good tournaments over there. They just recently got new uh, owners <clears throat> and they took out all the valley tables that they had in there the bar, bar and replaced them with uh, the seven foot diamonds so that their players could, you know, perform better at could, tournaments like this. So they could play on, on good tables. Yes. <laughs> right on. So that team over uh, the the team of pull the fire alarm is from Spokane. And this other team is an Oregon team. Rather be golfing. All right, are we uh, waiting on a player? There is no waiting in a team event. Yeah, I don't know what we're waiting on. There's no taking breaks during during, during yeah. teams. Yeah, no, they're both just sitting there. I don't know why they're not playing. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh. And hello, Snooker. Welcome. Oh, Pat's still playing and, on the other table. That's and, why. Oh, they're waiting on a. Oh, okay. Yeah, and. Uh, so we're at a And Wes is playing. We're at a we're at a holding pattern. That would be why. Well, here, let's switch over to that other table. Let's watch that one. Because we've got to wait for this match, this game to finish before we can proceed. Yep, and if you're wanting one of these tables, don't have one in your town, don't want to have one at home or want to replace the one you got. How do we get one? You can get one for free. Free. Free, That's, free, free. I like free. Yeah. Um, Billiard Shopping Network is giving me a free pool table, 7-foot diamond pro-am. Um, you have to go and register for free at BilliardShoppingNetwork.com. Like Billiard Shopping Network's Facebook page and then be watching live on BadBoys.tv uh, for the first live show of the Billiard Shopping Network. Live show? Who's going to be hosting that? Uh, well, there's this really cute little Asian girl, uh, <laughs> Sophia Tran. And the awesome raw Hannah. The new best dressed man in pool. <laughs> Brian was coming over, let me know why they were waiting. <laughs> that was nice of him. Yep, Snooker, the BS Network. Oh, nice shot. Whoa, cue ball. Perfect. Let them see the three. They can see it. Okay. And just cut it in. Cue ball comes over for the four. Oh, fired that ball in like it was nothing. Bounce. Like it's a hanger. And he just got there. That's a nice shot. Yeah, this guy just can play a barely little. got there. Oh, yeah, all of them can. <laughs> hey, Mike Littman. Did you change your logo, Mike? Or your your avatar, your whatever on uh, on YouTube? Oh no! Ah, and I got look at what I did. Over, oh, no, they're right. I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't switch the names. They're not supposed to switch over there. <laughs> or the home team. They stay in the same rotation. Yep, yep. Whoa. Ah. 
All right, bank it in. Yeah, that's nine balls to make it five four. You know, if I was a little bit closer to it, uh, where I know I can hit the nine exactly where I want it, I might try to thin off and play safe. But the more distance you have, the harder that shot is, and I'm more likely to just go for the bank in that case. Looks like he's playing safe. Looks like he's trying to thin. No, he's. Um, this is going to land up perfect for oh, pull the fire boy. alarm. Yeah, Wes has got a nice little easy tap. Let's pull the fire alarm up 6-3. All right, we'll switch back to our main table. <clears throat> All right, so we've got Brian and Pat and Wes and Steven. Yep. Pat will be breaking uh, on the this main table here that's against, uh, yep. Pat will be breaking against Brian. Yeah, Brian from Pull the Fire Alarm versus Pat from Rather Be Golfing and mm -hmm. Wes from Pull the fire alarm versus Steven from Rather Be Golfing. I say, you know, there's a couple of nice uh, golf courses. The the Salishan and and also the uh, the Chinooks one. I don't, I don't know the name of it if it's the Chinook one or uh, Chinooks Golf and whatever, but. Ah, uh, Gary Weisenheimer, huh? <laughs> Welcome, Gary. <laughs> yeah, no. If that was if that was the safe he was playing, um, he's playing for the wrong team. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna. <laughs> and welcome in, Gary. Hello. <laughs> Hope you're having a fine day, because we are here. Just another day in paradise. Now on the beautiful Oregon coast, get to watch some pool. All right, three, then five, four is gone. So, yeah, getting on this five. I hope that five goes in the side, but I don't think it does. High left, try to get on short side of the five for the five past the six, but that's a tight squeeze. He's probably playing somewhere, but he's not playing here. Who? Mika Eminen. Yeah, no. No pros here. This is an amateur event. They did used to have a, a pro event that went you know, along with this. It's, it actually started a few days before. But that uh, has been canceled for right now. Snooker, no, but wearing, oh, a, nice uh, but wearing a Railbird shirt does. What? Improve your Fargo rating. No. Oh. It says wearing a, the USA shirt does not automatically improve your Fargo rating. But our Railbird shirts do. Yeah, yeah. The team Railbirds won their first match. That's why they. Uh, that's why they cost so much money. Yep, and they're going like hotcakes. He needs that ball to get up so he can get some angle. Yeah, a little bit. He'd like to have yeah, a little bit more. He has, <laughs> yeah, some angle. <laughs> that's yeah, not a lot. Oh, well, every other. Uh, uh, one more turnover of the ball is, is a huge difference oh, here. Oh, yeah. Well, turn, you know, one revolution of the ball is six inches on the table. So, yeah, yeah. that's that goes from almost no angle to plenty of angle. Uh, draw it straight back. Ooh, get off that rail. Bounce. Or don't get there at all. Oof. So we confused it, and it just said, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to stop here. I think... Uh, Stevens uh, having a little bit of issue over there with the uh, the action of the uh, cyclop ball. He put a little bit of English to straighten it up and ended up uh, coming way over by the rail. <laughs> These cyclop balls do accept spin a whole lot easier than <laughs> any other ball you've played with. <laughs> That's a good one, Tony. People on AZ Blades were going on about it. What about the about the food they eat? Uh, I 
and what foods win the most games? Um, well, you know, if you're going to eat when you're playing, you should just snack. Yeah, something light. Yeah, and, I mean, because like a lot of... energy bars. I like energy bars. A lot of people say that they play better when they're just a little bit hungry. Yes. Yeah, you don't want uh, all that blood being diverted to your digestive tract and making your brain all sleepy. Yep. But if I have to eat, I like energy bars. Ooh, Steve rocked that rocked, nine ball to sleep. Rocked it to sleep. So it gets one back for rather be golfing. Six to four. Well, Brian's looking to see if... Uh, he can thin off of this and make the eight, I think. And I don't know that he can't. I mean, can he thin it the other way and make this? I don't think he can. I don't think he can throw it in. I think that's too much of an angle to throw. So it looks like he's just going to play safe. Thin off the eight. Hopefully that eight ends up near <coughs> the rail and cue ball all the way up table. If they're frozen together. I they're not know. frozen. There they're is, not a, frozen? There is okay. a tiny little gap. Maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, he was... Oh, oh, he made the nine. Oh, no. I think he might have been trying to. Now they're going to go spot that up. Spot the nine. Ball in hand on the eight. Eddie got a really nice break over on the other table. Yeah, I know a guy that used to like to wear clean socks. He would change his socks between matches, too. <laughs> it was like the way, you know, the comfort on his feet and everything and not having sweaty sticking to your toes. Yeah. Well, I, I, can, I can relate to that. I can understand that. Yeah. Bull, Rick. That never happened. Yep, nope, never, ever, ever happened. All right, team, rather be golfing. Ties it up. Pat, just... They do? No, that's four and four five. Four or five, yeah, never mind. I can count. <laughs> I, I, I think. I just can't read. <clears throat> five to six. Are, right. are we in a are we in a holding pattern Chris again? Chris and Eddie playing over on the other table. Nope. Brian will be coming over to rack for Steve. He's just maybe he doesn't realize he's up. Or Steve's racking for Brian. Prize money. Let's see if they have the prize money posted yet. I don't know if they have it up yet, but let's see. Oh, yes, yes they, do. they do. So is this platinum that I'm looking at? That's gold. Let me check platinum. Yeah, Rick, it could happen. If like the place is on fire, maybe. Cold day in hell. All right. So in the platinum teams, first place is nearly $4,000, 3975 oh, wow. Over thirteen hundred each, thirteen twenty-five a man. Pretty nice. Yeah. Second place, two thousand eight hundred and five dollars. And then on down the line. Yeah, we'll get to that when it matters. Yeah. But those are the for uh, the people playing in the finals. Yeah, and there's how many places they're paying out? Looks like they're paying out twenty-four places. So how many teams? Uh, I just had that a second ago. Sixty-six entrants. Yeah, 66 teams in the platinum, 98 teams in the gold. That's uh, That had the most prize money, obviously. And 25 silver teams. Yeah. Brian move, uh, taking the rack out, moved the nine a little bit, and then he 
Yep. Okay. Eddie makes a combination over there. Now it's a tie ball. Now game. we're tied up. All right. That'll bring up Eddie again. Racking. Is that the Larry Carter LC from Seattle? LC. Welcome in, LC. We will see you in January. He's living down in Louisville. Told me, and maybe we'll uh, come in and see him when I go down to get my teeth done. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. All right. Bank the three out of there, hide behind the nine. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You That's, ran right into the five. This is not the safe you're looking for. Uh, well, it's the safe Steve was looking for. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure the Pacific Northwest misses you, uh, Larry Carter, just like they miss us. Louisville. Is that, That's. Is that, uh, is that the phonetic. Uh, uh, spelling no. for for that city name? Yeah, um, that's uh, <clears throat> not the way some people say it. That's the way the people from the town say it. They pronounce it Louisville. Like they have a mouthful of marbles. Yep. Which I don't recommend doing. That's a choking hazard. Don't do that. That's what they did in My Fair Lady. It's got to work. <laughs> Yeah, my dad's uh my dad was born just outside of Louisville, so that's why I say it the way they do. Not Louisville, not Louisville, Louisville. Yeah, it's not Illinois. But it is Michigan, right? Odds are we're related. <laughs> are you related to the McManamas or the Keiths? Hey. Dry break on the other table. From the same area on the Indiana side, so probably near where they have the Derby City or every year. Or Jeffersonville. Jeffersonville. It's right across the river. Yeah. Um, what's the other one? It's uh, Abbey. It uh, begins with an A. Abbey Normal. And it's not New Jersey. New Albany. New Albany, Albany, Albany. It's not New Jersey. What about Long Island? Hmm. Long Island. That's how you say Long Island, right? Long Island. All right, get down there. That's a nice angle to be able to come back for this eight. Or did he not come quite far enough? Yeah, he needed to roll another couple inches. He can still get there, but he's really got to power this ball. Yeah, Jason Shore. Jason Shore, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we laugh at that every time we hear uh, a, a upstate, upstate say it. <laughs> every time we hear Jason Shore. <laughs> And yes, we do actually watch other people's streams. And so should you. Yeah, watch them all. Or at least well, most, most of them. them. <laughs> all right, Steve pots the nine. His team is now in the lead. For the first time this set, I believe. Yeah, four in a row. Making a comeback. And we got Eddie Parente up there with a decent table. He's just got the seven to the eight is going to be his problem. If there's a problem on the table. Oh, well, now it might be the six to the seven. <laughs> I 
He's going to drag out of that corner and come running three rails back around at this, isn't he? Uh-oh. He was. Now stopping in to see him while we're down there. Yeah, um, actually a week from my, uh, uh, a week from Sunday we will be there. Be in town for a couple of days, but uh, I'm getting my implants done, so don't know how much of a company we will be, but we will definitely see you in January, Larry. It was nice to see you at the uh, this year's Derby City. Did you get to see Larry at Derby City? I don't think so. Yeah. He was staying with... Um, with Harry? No, with uh, Ed. Ed Hobbs. Ah. Oh, oh, right. Here's a chance for West maybe to Ooh, tie it back he, up for his team. Can you see this? Can you see that six? I don't know. That's pretty tight. Yeah. Oh. I may want somebody watching this if he's going to shoot at it if it was me. Yeah, he's kicking at it. I'm just nice. I would do just a nice soft kick and All just right. let him tie up. Good hit. Yeah, well, unfortunately, all Eddie has to do is make this ball, and he's got a shot. Follow straight down table for the seven, seven and eight are right there, nine ball right in front of the corner pocket down table, or pretty much right in front of it. Um, I don't know that I would use the word improve there, Snooker. It might <laughs> alter your Fargo by one and a half points, <laughs> but, it, but it may not be up. <laughs> <laughs> now having a killer beard. <laughs> oh, that's the nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Eddie wins. And, uh, pull the fire alarm's got to uh, put an end to this stuff here. Is he riding the nine? Cutting the one in the corner? He's cutting the one in the corner and riding the nine. And he's missed both of them because he's playing both and not pick one. Got to pick one and then hope the other one still goes. <clears throat> All right, Brian's got them all racked up over there for Eddie. Nice shot there. Uh, and he's got a shot on the two. Just slide off of it, slide below the five ball. Might be too thin of a cut on the two to do that. I think he has to cut it pretty thin. <laughs> Might have to yeah, zigzag but, back and forth. But he's cutting it with a cyclop ball. Uh -oh. oh, this could be trouble. It is. Um, Eddie, what happened there? Nine ball break for, for, for Eddie. For Eddie? For Eddie, okay. yep. Rather be golfing. Is that Joyce Howard to just walk? Yes, it is. I know that dress anywhere. Walked by, didn't even say hi. Joyce Robertson? <laughs> yeah, Joyce Robinson. 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 My bad. Man, rather be golfing. Man, they're uh, slow out of the gate, but man, they really hit their stride now, haven't uh, they? They sure have. This is like six games in a row. 
How many in a row is this? They're at five in a row because Eddie's was uh, Pat uh, Pat's game came before Eddie's game. Okay. There, so. Well, I clicked the plus on their side of the scoreboard six That's times fine. in a row. Yeah. All right. I think I like off of the rail for the seven to draw off of the side rail because of uh, the side pockets and the nine ball. Yeah, you just want to get this out to the middle of the table. Uh huh. Yeah, just a little middle bit of, of the table. Middle of the table angle is what you want on the seven. Yeah, a little bit of high ball. Just cut the six in the side. Are we in a holding pattern again? We are. Uh, he was. Pretty much dead straight on that six. Ah, uh, so, okay. All right. He did what he could. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so we are waiting for this match to finish because the next two matches down and the next uh, uh, setup is uh, yeah. that's these happens, two guys. That's what happens with three-person teams. You end up uh, well, yeah, in holding patterns yeah, a lot. Yeah, and, and the guy below you makes a nine on the break. You know, <laughs> that's a nice shot there. Nicely done. Whoa, don't get straight. Get, Whoa. Quit, quit going. Man, this table just doesn't stop. He does have a little bit of angle and he can he can yeah. open it up even more by cutting this uh, by cutting the ball into the farthest side uh, can, right yeah. hand side. Yeah, he can follow two rails, cheat the pocket. Oh look, it's Carnation Washington calling again. Yeah, I think I like uh, just cheating the pocket and pushing forward. Yeah, he's drawing back. Yeah, and this works too. Draw it back with some lower left English and let the left spin it down towards the nine ball. That's a nice shot. Good stroke. Yep. Thanks for coming. All right, so now we're waiting for the rack again. <laughs> <laughs> so you mark the score. No, who won over there? I don't remember who made the ball. Um, Chris did. So that's 7 9 now, right? Seven nine and fifty eight yeah. minutes. <laughs> well, they, and they actually started like two a minute or two late, so. Yeah, pull the fire alarm. Uh, trying to put a stop to the bleeding there. Yeah. It says, all right, it's been the rather be golfing show long enough. It's time for it. It's our turn now. Oh, that was a nice hit by Wes over there, and he got that nine ball moving. All right. Steve and Chris. Here we go. Again, uh, matches are two hours apart today. So 10, 12, 2, and so on and so forth. Uh, 
All right, wing ball straight into the corner. And everything in front of the one and ball. everything in front of the one. <laughs> yeah, I think I like to, I like just kick, kicking at this and just tapping this ball instead of uh, rolling out, kick to the bottom rail and just hit the one to the rail and let him try to figure out how to play you safe getting that cue ball out of there. Um, yeah. And maybe even hit a little bit harder and the one ball bounces out and the cue ball comes back in behind the three five. Playing a dangerous game there. <laughs> uh, it's it's a funny table. Mm -hmm. You know, if you push out, where do you push out to that he doesn't have a shot? I mean, that one's hanging in the hole. Yeah. So I like kicking. Just roll up on top of it. I like the uh, one rail kick at it. Off of the end rail right there. Oh, the way he's looking right now? No, 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 no. The back, well, off that, the back rail the, over there. Yeah, yeah behind oh, it. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the, the head rail. I'm sorry, not yeah. the end rail. The head rail. I just know which <coughs> end you were talking about. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, just roll up on top of it, you know, kick behind it. Hello, Rick from New Hampshire. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, Rick. Glad you could join us today. Nice job. Uh, trying to figure out, I think he's just looking at rolling it to the rail. If you're going to do that, you might as well kick at it. Yeah, you're getting this one back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe, unless he, can, unless he can make it rail first, but even then your cue ball is going to go flying and you can't you don't have a shot on the two. So, yeah, I'm passing this one back. Yeah. He's looking at shooting straight at it. Oh, that's a couple of nice shots over there, Wes. Now finish it off with this nine ball. Yeah, I'm passing this one back. Yeah, if you've got to look at it this long and it's this tough. Oh, oh no, Wes. The nine. And it's going to roll up perfect. Oh. It is, and that's going to put the, them on the hill. Yeah, that Pat will put his team on the hill with this one. <clears throat> Uh, he was aimed a little bit too far out on that, a uh, little bit for, uh, down the rail a little bit more, and it hits the one, banks the one out, and the cue ball tucks in behind. All right, so. <laughs> uh, Saw the USA shirt, thought he was watching Shane for a second. Yeah, no. Uh, we do have Shane Van Bonin on a couple. Uh, a um, match. On, uh, on a video of ours from Derby City. Yeah. Playing Ivor Saris. We almost had him twice, but he actually got a forfeit. He got a forfeit. When we would have had him twice, but he ended up getting a forfeit. It's funny. When I we went got, down we got and... Gypped, we got gypped out of a shame match. Yeah. When I went down and told Bonnie about it, he goes... Uh, you know, when, when we went down, we were talking about it. She's like, you don't know how hard he fights to get those forfeits. I mean, the second the match is supposed to start, he's putting somebody on the clock. And mm -hmm. I thought and he never gets one. So he finally got one. <laughs> <laughs> and we must be back in that holding pattern again. Must be. Uh, oh, can he make this one? Pat. I guess he can. No, it should be uh, Pat and Brian. With Pat racking for Brian. Okay, he's heading over there now. This is all about staying alive, staying alive. And these are uh, first rounds, right? Um, I think this one is second round. This ah. is second round. One of the teams got a bye. Ah, okay. But the other team <laughs> didn't. So this is second round for one of the teams and uh, first round for the other team. I believe Pull the Fire Alarm, I think, had a bye. Okay. Well, I wonder if, uh, wonder if Chris is going to bank at this three or if he's going to play safe. There is, there is an alley between the 8-4 to bank this ball. Yeah. Banks are open. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, Rick, that is actually the it, the teams play on two tables, and that is the uh, second table for this team match. It'll be like that for our, for the rest of the uh, the rest of the week. Ooh, it's just playing safe. Standing. Ooh. Might be able to see enough of that to cut it to the corner. That's pretty close. Yeah. Darren's just confirming, yep, this is the second round for a rather be golfing. Yep. Hey, you took you, you took down my blocker. Now everybody has to smile at me when they walk by. It's right there <laughs> in a suitcase. <laughs> well. Just put the monitor back up. Don't have to plug it into anything. No. Hey, just put my backpack up there. No, I shouldn't do that. And Brian can't get a roll for anything over there. You know, he had the, over here that uh, shot on the eight where he made the nine and he scratched. And another uh -huh. good shot over here where he scratched. <laughs> and now he just made a good hit over there. And it was a tough shot, a tough one and scratches. Oh, play it off the point nice for shot. perfect. Nicely done. Whoa, cue ball. Whoa. <laughs> Didn't want to come up short. Whoa, Nelly. All right, figure it out there, Chris. He could just roll forward. If he doesn't like having to draw out of here, just roll forward and shoot the eight in the side. Yeah, but you got to roll forward pretty far. You got to be like yeah. right up by that corner pocket. Hey, Toshi Morguchi. Hi, Toshi. How are you? We're doing good. How are you? It's always nice to see you. Right on. He says they won. Who's on your team? Uh, Danny, Jesse, Bergman, and Toshi Morguchi. Are you, you guys are allowed to play together? <laughs> Within two <laughs> points of the limit. Right on. There's a team to watch. Good luck. <laughs> Another one of those B players, Toshi Morguchi. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Stay with it. And Well, he really gets down on his stand, bends his knees and really gets down on the ball, Chris does. All right, <clears throat> let's go have a look at this other table. If he makes his eight and gets good on the nine, that's that's going to be the match. Be the match. He's really taking his time on this. Uh, he's looking, eyeing up the bank now. <clears throat> All right, so that's going to bring Wes to the table. He will be racking for Steve. Nope, that's not going to work. And that's going to leave it pretty nice for a pull the fire alarm. Nope. BK. Does BK have a BK uh, break queue? I don't know if he uh, breaks with a BK rush or not. Or a BK2 or, or a BK3. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what he uses. But if you're going to use a BK, it might as well be the $700 rush, right? <laughs> or is it only 600 I think they're 700 <laughs>
Uh, Cue ball. That's, that's oh. it. It's the nine balls hanging in the hole, too. That's going to be your match. That is going to be the match. Yeah, I mean, un unless Pat has to happens to trip on his way to the table and hits the cue ball with his stick <laughs> or falls over, you know, here. There you go. There you go. That should be your match unless we kept the score wrong. Nah. It's right. They're all coming out shaking hands. All right. They're all shaking hands. So we did get the score right. Woohoo. Yep. All right. Rather be golfing, defeating Pull the Fire Alarm, 11-8. This was an A-side match, so Pull the Fire Alarm still alive. All right. Be good, sh good shooting, guys. Be back at 2 p.m. Pacific time with your next lineup. All right. Be back then. See ya.